First, we're going to download the necessary installation programs. Navigate your browser to the Summer Institute of Linguistics at the URL software.sil.org slash fonts. Once that page opens, you're going to scroll down to Global and will find fonts that generally cover the world's languages. There are three fonts that have been developed to best represent the International Phonetics Alphabet and correctly place any diacritics over symbols. They are Keras, Dulos, and Gentium. Dulos was created to represent and resemble the Times New Roman font, while Keras and Gentium each have their own distinct styles. I really prefer Gentium, so that's what I'm going to download today. Click Gentium. Now you'll come to the information page, which gives you a little information about the font, gives a demonstration of it up here in the red section. But we are going to only need to download it, so we're going to click Downloads, which takes us to a Downloads page. On this page, I would suggest that you download the Windows installer. It is by far the easiest way to install something, and it will create links to the documentation you might need to understand the font. You can also download a zip file of this, which allows you to put it in Mac OS or Linux. You can download a developer's file, and you can download a compact version of this file. We're going to go back up here. We're going to click Gentium Plus 5.0 to download it. It's going to show us the save option at the bottom of our screen. We're going to save it. I'm putting this into my downloads folder inside a special folder for fonts so I know where it is. I'm going to click Save. Now we'll download the keyboard language program to access all the characters. Aim your browser to keyman.com. Keyman is a handy tool for switching between languages. It really just integrates into Windows language tools, but it makes things a whole lot easier. It's also free now, which is a really big bonus. Hover down over the keyboards dropdown. Go down to IPA keyboards. Click that link. There are several IPA keyboards on this page that were developed to access phonetic characters. I've been using the Summer Institute of Linguistics one for years, and it's pretty simple to use, so that's what I'm going to download. It's also handy that the executable for Keyman will include the keyboard itself all in one executable file. So we're going to click Download here. That takes us to another page. We're going to click Install Keyboard rather than Keyboard Online. Now we'll come to another page. I get a pop-up saying I need a new app to open this Keyman link. Just disregard that. Click on the page, click Download Keyboard. You are going to get a message down here to either open or save it. Save that keyboard in your preferred location. Once again, click Save. That's all we need to download, so we're ready to install. I'm going to minimize my browser. Then I will open the location where I've stored the file on my computer. We'll begin by installing the Gentium font. Double-click the executable file. Your screen will likely dim, and you'll have a user response window asking if you want to allow this program to install on your computer. Click Yes. And that will open up the Gentium font installer. Click Next. If you want, you can read this, but I'm just going to click I agree. I've glanced through it. And then you're going to click Next again. Click Install. It will do its thing. Click Finish. Now we will go to the Keyman Setup. Click keymansetup.sil underscore ipa.exe. Again, though you can't see it, the screen dims and asks if I want to install the program. Click Yes. Click Install. That's really all you have to do. The executable does its thing without any interaction. It will complete and you'll see this screen. Click Exit and then you'll want to restart your computer to make sure everything installs correctly. I'm going to do that. You pause this video, restart your computer, and then come back when you are finished. Welcome back. So, after your computer finishes booting, you're going to see this message on my screen. You're going to click Install to finish the installation of the font package. Like before, your screen will dim and you'll be asked if you want to install the program. Click Yes. My screen recorder just had a glitch when the system pop-up occurred, so when your font finishes installing, you'll see a screen that looks similar to this, but not exactly. 
This is the help file that shows the sequences that will produce all the phonetic symbols. For now, just click OK. I've created a PDF that arranges these in a similar fashion to the chart published by the International Phonetic Association. There's a link to this chart below. Let's get started by learning how to type in phonetics. Start by clicking the Windows Start button. I'm simply going to type in Keyman so I can get to it quicker. Because I use the program a lot, I usually pin it to my Start menu by clicking and pinning it. Now let's start the program. You'll initially get this pop-up screen. I'm going to do a quick configuration of Keyman to put in two settings that I prefer. You can skip this if you don't think these settings interest you. First, under the Options area, I'm going to untick Start When Windows Start. I just would rather only have Keyman on when I want it, and I can save system resources the rest of the time. Next, I'm going to click Hotkeys and set a hotkey that will activate the IPA sequence. This way, I don't have to grab the mouse, navigate to the icon, and activate Keyman when I want to type phonetics. Click where it says None next to the undetermined IPA SIL keyboard. You'll be given options to set. I make a custom one using Control Shift and the apostrophe. Click OK, and then we're going to close this. We're going to start Keyman. When you start Keyman, it's going to appear in your taskbar over here. This little picture here is the icon for Keyman. Now, I like to see this frequently when I'm typing, so I'm going to change my taskbar settings by right-clicking, going to taskbar settings. I will scroll down to say select which icons appear on the taskbar. I scroll down to Keyman, I toggle that on, I close it, and now it's going to stay here. So let's get typing. I'm going to open Word to demonstrate. I'm also going to open the document that I spoke of earlier that shows the sequences laid out similar to the International Phonetic Association chart. The first thing we're going to do is set the font to Gentium Plus. That is the font we just downloaded and that will give us our diacritics in the correct place. Go to the Keyman icon, click it, and choose IPA SIL to toggle that language on and begin typing phonetics. Notice regular Latin characters are typed as you normally would. If I'd like to type my name phonetically, I type the M as usual, the A as usual. For the small capital I, I can look to the chart to see the sequence of I equals in order to type the desired character. I type that in Word and then type KL. If I'd like to put velarization through that L, I can look over here. It's right here. I'm going to type L and two tildes. So I've typed the L. I will type two tildes. It puts that through. If I would like to make this a syllabic consonant, I now go over here and see that it is a dollar sign that I typed. So I type the dollar sign. And that completes my name. If I want to type a schwa, I type E equals. If I want to type the script A, I type A equals. If I want to type the turned script A, I type O equals. If I want to type a thorn, I do a D equals. If I want to type a theta, I type T equals. You'll end up memorizing the sequences that you use the most. If there's some things you forget, refer back to the chart. I keep one next to me when I'm doing a lot of transcription. If you don't have the printed chart, you can read the documentation built into Keyman by right-clicking the Keyman icon and choosing Help. You can see the included documentation with all the sequences. That's really everything. You're ready to go. All you need to do now is refer to the key sequences in the documentation and type. Good luck with typing your transcription. Have a great day.